Your job is part of the solution to sorting out the economy and saving the planet, not just from an ethical and moral point of view, or from a real economic situation as well. After I finished this, I had a revolutionary idea. And the penny dropped me on something. And I've actually written a one-sided paper now called Two Black Guys Went for a Walk. Because at either end of my young, agitated life, there were two black guys who walked took long walks. Um, the second one I've spoken about a lot. Yep. It's obviously Barack Obama. It's fantastic. But the first one is someone who inspired pretty much my entire generation. I only missed out on being a baby boomer by two years. So I got a little bit of the good stuff. Yeah, just a tiny little bit of it. And like many of my generation, here's the dude. He's the man. Yeah, fights out with Bill Clinton for being the biggest statesman in my life. Um, and he's done lots of remarkable stuff. But he did something to me which made me really wake up to what all this stuff is about. <coughs> Nelson Mandela came back to London last year to celebrate his 90th birthday. I was interviewed when he was on stage and they said, why did you come back to London to celebrate your 90th birthday? And he was very clear, quite a broken voice. He said, 20 years ago you held a party for me in London. And it kept me going, it raised my spirits, it raised the spirits of the whole ANC and we knew it wasn't just us, there were other people behind it. And from that council we went on and we destroyed apartheid. And I've come back to say thank you. And I was sitting on my own in front of my TV I was in tears. Because that meant every petition I signed, every South African orange I boycotted, every riot I was involved in during the anti-apartheid years had been worthwhile. And actually it meant that all that energy, passion, that agitation, that care of my youth, the rebellion, the danger it put you in, going on those things, was actually worthwhile. That actually my youth had a purpose to it. Because that wasn't the nation Nelson was thinking, that was me. And I realized two things, is it takes 20 years to make big change happen. And that the only person on the planet that ever remembered to say thank you to me 20 years later was Nelson Mandela. And I thought, oh, the world does change. We just forget to be able to tell people that it has. Contrast that brilliance of a single person that inspired an entire generation and then remembered to say thank you to a major home counties based NGO that came out this year and said band aid achieved nothing. Why well, cancel my day day? Well, I don't care for their highfalutin policy analysis. Band aid achieved something. It changed my life. And there are lots of people alive now who might not have been <coughs> development perfection. But compare that negative message of 24 years ago. You did this. You, I gave a week's salary to band aid, but I was 16. And this NGO comes out and says, well, actually, what you did was shit. Yeah? That's rubbish. I'm sorry. That is just offensive to me. I don't care about the development policy. I'm a donor. Yeah? So compare that positive message to that really negative one about something very, very similar. The world has come along, and we've learned a lot about development in 20 years. That doesn't mean my youth was wasted because I supported that bill of major mandate. Thank you very much. And if that's your opinion, I'd rather not hear it. And if you're going to say it, expect to get it back in your face. <laughs> okay?